defining responsible investment, I think it's something that the PRI has worked on, I think, very carefully. Um, it's not socially responsible investing. It is mainstream investing. There's a lot of talk about environmental, social, and governance factors, ESG factors. But the, the preamble to the PRI says very clearly that we believe ESG factors may impact investment returns and therefore should be taken into consideration as appropriate. It's not driven by ESG considerations being imposed on in investment. It's really, to me, responsible investment is about mainstream investment that, that takes in perhaps a broader analysis than simply the number crunching. Responsible investment is very important for us as a pension fund. Um, it starts with the recognition that a pension is about uh, secure income in a longer term horizon. Uh, and you would like uh, a secured income in a world that's worth living in. So sustainability and pensions uh, really go very well together. Sustainability in itself, both from a risk as well as from a return perspective, uh, adds value to the risk return profile of an investor. Responsible investment is important in order basically to de-risk and to ensure that we actually get the value of, of our investments. That's our core, core job as uh, trustees and fiduciary responsibility means that you know, the, 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 we have to look out after our members' interests first and foremost. However, we are, because we are a, a large investor, we have uh, indexed uh, tracking uh, investments, we have active portfolios, we invest in the UK and Europe and North America, Latin America, emerging markets, Asia Pacific. So effectively we are a universal investor. And so therefore, whatever investments we make, if those investments have a negative impact in the long-term course of, of world history, then we are actually undermining our own long-term investments. I think one great resource for the mainstream investment community is actually the socially responsible investment community. They tend to spot um, issues way before the, the financial community does. So we actually look at often at what the SRI community is talking about and then try to monitor whether that starts turning into a business issue. Um, because it goes from being an idea to something that actually puts more pressure on the company. So the, the SRI community is a great resource for the mainstream investment community to kind of start tuning in as to what may be coming down the road as business issues. We also work with our internal portfolio managers to take environmental and social issues, translate them into something that they can use in their investment decisions to add value uh, to our investments, but also to highlight to them areas where there are risk that may impact uh, the value of the company and therefore they might want to sell out of that. The, the sector that, that has seen most of this is, um, are those that are, are, are focused on the cost of carbon. So if you look at utilities in Europe, the emissions trading scheme in Europe has now, cost of carbon is built into investment research. You cannot be uh, an investment analyst or a fund manager and not understand how cost of carbon will impact your investments. That's undoubtedly the best evidence that the financials and the extra financials go together. Uh, none of our assets are under socially responsible management. Um, in terms of responsible management, it's a process um, that will, I think, evolve over time. And I think that's true with a lot of um, signatories to the principles of responsible investment. It's aspirational. It, it's actions that we can take now in small steps to, to get to places. What we do in terms of the investment side and integrating this into the investment side is, is a very soft touch at this point. When we're meeting with our managers, you know, we ask them about it. And we certainly ask them about their proxy voting policies for, for their other clients. We vote our own, but for their other clients, we also start to ask them about how they think about these issues. We don't yet require anything from them. We don't yet put it in RFPs, um, but it's part of our dialogue. Um, so we would hope over time that just that dialogue, um, as they're hearing it from more and more institutions, will come into their thinking and it won't be a question of moving assets to a responsible investment manager that over time the community will move more in that direction. My expectation of, of the, uh, is, is definitely that going forward um, this industry will grow and that we will grow and that um, we will end up with a fully integration of these factors into what we all acknowledge as being normal. It will take time, but that is where we will get. And I'm convinced that the PRI is a very, very important framework that could help us all to get there.